Hi, I'm Matt Thomas Jacks. This is our one minute guide to resolve difficulties you could encounter connecting your thermal to your phone. Whether it's a year old or maybe even 10 years old, maybe it's been connected in the past but now it struggles or it's prone to losing its connection. This quick guide should help. The first thing to do is to make sure that you've got the correct version of the Pulsar Stream Vision app on your phone. Devices pre-July 2019 should work with the original Stream Vision app. For newer devices, they would need Stream Vision 2 to operate. You can find out which Stream Vision to use for your device at the front of your manual or in the link to the product manuals in the description below. If you have the right version of Stream Vision, but it just won't connect, first of all, try your phone in aeroplane mode, making sure Wi-Fi is definitely still on. For some people, that's all that's needed. Something else that can happen is that the signal drops out, usually because of interference from other Wi-Fi networks. To try moving your location or for newer thermals, like this one, with dual band Wi-Fi, go into your device settings, swap from the stronger default 2.4 GHz to the faster 5 GHz signal. If that hasn't helped you connect, next try this. On your phone, delete the Stream Vision app, then reinstall it, double checking you've got the right version. If that hasn't fixed your problem, on your thermal, try a factory reset and clearing the memory. In the settings menu, click default settings, then yes, and yes to confirm. Then format, this will clear the memory, so save videos you want to keep first. Still no joy? Then the problem might be on your phone. If it's an option, install Stream Vision on a different phone or tablet. iPhones historically had some Stream Vision connection issues. Thankfully, Stream Vision 2 is fine for both Apple and Android users. Finally, if you have an Android phone, clear the Stream Vision app's memory cache. To do this, go to apps in your settings, find Stream Vision, then clear the cache and clear the data. Something that's done automatically on iPhones. If you're still struggling, drop us a message in the comments below because if we haven't got the answer, someone else might. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because we like answering your questions so you can achieve more with your Pulsar. I'm Matt Thomas-Jacks. Thanks for watching.